first off, I want to say thank you to Kashawn for coming out there to support, you know. That was much love. I ain't take that lightly. That was very big for me, you know. Just wanted to clear the air. There's a lot of back and forth shit on the internet. And I just wanted to say, you know, it wasn't no skip. So the shit that she did with the spoon, I ain't really approve of it, you know. The, but the rice was almost done. So I ain't really care. I do get a lot of crazy reactions from my clients, you know. Um, so it's nothing new. So that's why I wasn't so surprised. But at the end of the day, it still wasn't acceptable. First off, I want to say thank you. First of all, it's a skit me acting like the food is really good it, it, it really was good but you know you see how fast that video went around me eating in that tray like that that was the point to eat it like that um now, people was coming in the comment section. I had made a comment about Krishan Rock um, eating, you know, the, the last of the rice that was, you know, that had been catered to by a caterer. Now, this man is clearly stating that he did not care that she ate the last of the rice. He's stating that it wasn't a skit on his end. But however, he saw the cameras rolling and Krishan was eating the rice and it may have been a skit on her end. You know what I'm saying? So they was going back and forth. Now, the chefs that I know, they don't let nobody come in the kitchen, know their recipes. They don't let nobody come around and cater to the food. They don't do the food, whatever, unless they say y'all come eat or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So the chef, the real chefs, the personal chefs that we know, we ain't letting people come in there with their own spoons and dipping in pans and pots and we ain't washing your hands. We monitor all of that. But the fact that this man knows what he's doing, he is clout chasing. Um, you know, and it's not a bad thing. Clout chasing is not a bad thing, but this man is definitely clout chasing. You know what I'm saying? Because we wouldn't have known who this man was had it not been Krishan eating out the, you know, the pots of rice and stuff like that. We wouldn't have knew who this man was. Let's let's be clear. Let's be clear. Now, I've been on social media a long time, and I can kind of see between the lines. And I'm not gullible, and I'm not naive. So I can see between the lines because I do call out chasing and, and all that other stuff myself inadvertently. You know what I'm saying? We do that stuff. We pull from one thing or one thing to try to get as much attention as we can to our business and what we promote and what we're doing. So I clout chase to try to get somebody over here to this stuff. But that's neither here or there. But he is definitely clout chasing because he said it was unacceptable, but yet he handed her the spoon and let her eat the last. And he said, I, it was unacceptable. I'm a caterer. This is is unacceptable. I know that it's unacceptable in the practice that I'm in and to entrepreneurship that I'm in, but I'm going to hand her the spoon and allow her to eat out of these pots and pans and stuff like that and allow her to do it knowing that it's unacceptable. And he said, I did not care. You know what I'm saying? So when did unacceptability becomes a, 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 acceptable in your, in your, in your, in something that you specialize in? So you have to question your craft and what you're doing out here when you're cooking people food, if that's what you want to be doing, you know, unacceptable behavior over people food other people food or other people got to eat besides croissant you know what i'm saying you need to understand that so this man is, is kind of cloud chasing and he knows what he's doing and getting people over there to his restaurants and stuff like that letting y'all know that this um this unacceptable but if you are a celebrity you can come here and tear this motherfucker up i really don't give a damn you know what i'm saying as long as i can get the attention on my business and get more money off of it on the back end so i just had to come through and explain to some of these people who just don't see shit you know what i'm saying who just be on social media and just believe everything that they hear and everything that they see however it could not been a skit on his end he wasn't involved in the skit, but on Krishan's end, he knew the cameras was there. He knows Krishan. She gets eyes on her, and and it and, and, and his business is right there in the facility or the vicinity of where Krishan is at. You know, people gonna we gonna click and we gonna look and we gonna see what's going on and who she's around and who's feeding her and where, who's catering. We gonna dig that shit up. It's social media. It is what it is. It is a clout chasing society. It ain't his fault that it is like that, but he's just using it to the best of his ability, which I don't blame him. He said it, you know what I'm saying? But he's just, you know, say what you mean and mean what you say, and especially if you're doing business or in business and things of that nature you know what i'm saying you just gotta and, and, and learn how to read the room y'all people who's on social media and fall for every goddamn thing that people tell y'all on social media and try to be a devil, devil advocate and all that kind of stuff learn how to read the goddamn social media room like i said i've been on social media a long motherfucking time i know when people are cloud chasing when they're not because i um uh, and, and i know we, when people are trolling and all that old bullshit because i've done it myself okay all right now hope hopefully 
that you know he he gets some etiquette in his business and and get some get somebody to wrangle people who is coming in there eating out his pots and his pans and and hopefully that he'll have in his mind not to hand nobody no spoon and let them eat the last of the rice and thinking that it's a good look he just only probably you know addressed the situation because it was a backlash you know about him his establishment and do he let everybody do that or, or just Krishana just celebrities come through there and do that what's going on you letting these people come out your you know what I'm saying any proper caterer any pr person who cared enough about their business would have said oh baby let me get you a plate let me let me put this on a plate for you let me wrap this up for you let me put you in a boat hold on baby wait a minute I'm not gonna hand you no spoons no forks no um, utensils no apparatuses no spatulas so you to dig in my pots and tank when I'm standing there and it's my business and I'm still there. so he was okay with what Krishan had done he was obviously okay with the skit that she had plotted or planned or whatever she did and people trying to make it seem like Krishan is irate or Krishan is a problem and she nasty and all this Krishan has her ways I ain't defending Krishan I'm gonna call her out when she's right and I'm gonna call her out when she's wrong but you know what I'm saying he let her do whatever she wanted to do and I don't see her doing anything wrong by eating the last of the rice that's what she does and getting a gag out of it and getting people on social media to see her doing something else that she can get her name out there too it probably was clout chasing on both you know parts and things of that nature but just let you know in the comment section girls y'all can play Scrabble Connect Four whose line is it anyway pin a tail on the donkey will, will of fortune and all those jeopardy all those games but you can't play the mother okay I see you looking